Hello, welcome. This is Elite Joe Special. From our previous video, which we can see, we've been successfully able to do us an unsupervised classification using ArcGIS desktop. And then we want to do the supervised classification in this video of the same area with the same uh, numbers of class using the same ArcGIS software. And uh, we want to do this using the same class we've done on the previous. We used four class on the other one. So we're going to do it for built up, we're going to do it for rivers, we're going to do it for vegetations, and maybe a balance if we can see. All right, so this is what we'll be doing in this video. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So to do a supervised classification, uh, let me remove this so that I can bring it back again. So you right click on this, uh, this ash place that we see here, and uh, you click on image classification. Once you are at image classification, now here are the training sample manager, and then we have the draw tools what we draw. So you click on the training sample manager, you have that right here. So whatever you train will appear here, whatever you train will appear here. So whichever of these things, whether you want to draw a polygon, you want to draw a rectangle, you want to draw a circle, any of them will appear on your training sample. So we want to train the area we want to show as built up and uh, as any of the thing we want to show. So as we train them, it shows on the training sample manager. So I still will always prefer an editor's imaging because it allows you to connect to Google Earth. Then that will help you to easily understand that you could, your eyes alone cannot really give you the right thing now. Where if you use Google Earth and you stream, it zoom up, it's going to show you that this place are built up with maybe some other grasses and all that. So that will allow you to avoid some of those things. So it helps you and enhance the accuracy of the classification. So I'll always recommend an editor's emerging software. All right, so we start picking samples. So once I double click, it appears. So I'm going to be careful in the sample I pick. So I'll pick as much as possible. All right, let's go. I'm going to pick as much as possible, right? So the more I pick, it appears on the training manager. But I want to delete this one. So I'm going to delete it because I suspect that it's passing through another pixels. You know, these are a group of pixels. So I'm going to zoom up very well. And I'm going to make those samples. Now look at the count. So the number of the count here really matters. Okay, that's the, the pixels that it has, it's covering. So it really matters, so you need to pick as many as possible for it to have a good uh, result. So the search will continue. This shows that we have 3000 on it, so I'm just going to make
So you can see the number of counts I'm experiencing within this place. So we'll be making all of this. So you take your time and train your data. You have to take your time to train this data. So I'm going from one of the police to the other, training this built-up area. We have all together 26 samples. Now we can make selection of all of them. And if we've done that, we can match the training sample into one we split the sample let's say after we merge it we can also split it back that's what it means so we have 16,597 count but we're not done yet i only merge it so that we could continue now we can actually also split this back to all the numbers that's what it implies okay so let me merge it back again and we'll click merge we could save the training sample as share file but we are not done yet so let's quickly finish first <coughs> let's spread to other parts of the image so that we don't just do it for one side We need to train it to all the places we want so that it has a spatial distribution because we're training it to tell us that this is this and that is that so that's the essence so you see it spreads across here so this may take time but we have to make it a detail kind of video so note that the accuracy of your classification depends on how well you are able to train your pixels so I am seeing other pixels but I have no choice than to just go over it because I don't really know I know that some of the builder will have uh will have vegetations around it so this could reduce the quality or the the accuracy of the train pixels so we just do that for that's why i all i said my recommendation software is erdos imagine well there are quite a number of software you can use for this purpose but we are using this for this now i've used nv i've used qgis i've used all this also i'll be trying to add most of these things to the channel in the coming days so once you've trained because we can't actually go through to train all of this things see these are all built up around here let's pick some of those so we may not be able to train all of them but let's train all the big areas
so if we have been able to cover all that we want there are still quite numbers here so we know that this is a settlement because of the road that just passed through and then we could see that this is a river because of the way it goes so i don't know whether it's an artificial river but it shows very well that it is a river i'm still seeing some of the build up that's why i quickly want to pick them so once we satisfy with this we merge it again we make a selection by selecting clicking on it and selecting shift so we will now turn this to a build up we call it build up so we will change the color to the color we want it to represent for build up so let's use yellow and uh, we could save this traded data first let's save it like this so that in case our system do something we could just bring it back all right so let's do the next one now we'll call it watcher body So we can come make a change here, but I, I I'm not seeing, uh, I'm not seeing a line future. That in Erdos imaging there is line. You could pick line, but here isn't showing that. So we we'll just have to make manage what is provided. So we're going to follow the road part, the river pattern just in between the river pick pixels that but not, we must not pick everything but we're picking the pixels that really count so i'm gonna pick this as well so i'm going to follow the pattern of this just trying to pick as much details as possible not that we must pick everything so this one just pick the pixels that will do the job as it goes we just make another selection So I believe what we selected should do justice to this. So let me make another selection here. So let's go make other selections. We have other places we suspect that a river because the truth is we honestly don't know which is which. We are only following the shape of what we believe it's a river. Our size is actually our eyes are actually the best uh, form of doing remote sensing. But even that our eyes can prove wrong so oops i will delete the last one so we'll pick again
So I'm going to post this video in order not to allow the video to be that long. So I'm going to post it so that when I come back, we'll just go on the classification. So I'm going to make change to the bands so that I I'm going to change it to a vegetative band so that I can see the vegetation that well. So I guess this will help me know where the vegetations are so I can see this. So I'm going to make selection to that effect. So I'm going to be selecting to that effect. We're we'll able to do water body and we're doing vegetation and built up now. So So I may not do much because I wanted the video not to be too long. So those purple or whatever color we're showing that side is identifying the identifying the built up. These are built up. So we could still add more of the built up and select the built up. Uh, so I'm making selections to that effect. These are vegetations. But what I'm yet to understand is by changing these bands to what I could see, could it be that this, uh, the, the, the machine will go through the last band I use or it's just going to go through where the pixels I pick? That's what I'm yet to understand. If somebody understand that better than me, should also give us an enlightenment on the comment section so that we also could learn from that this seems more like a dense vegetation so this is more like but then we are not doing vegetative cover you know we'll have pick different vegetations but then now we just want vegetation as vegetation so this could be river and vegetation so I'm not gonna touch that so that I don't overdo so as I said if someone have a better understanding of how this thing works you should let us know so we'll name this as vegetation vegetation and then we'll save it as veggie vegetation so vegetation will carry the green color all right so now we are left with one class which I don't know whether we should just go ahead and classify but I can't really pick up any color here so I am thinking this to be a mountain but um I don't really know but then the, it has vegetation and it looks as if they are built up over there which is true they are actually built up around here so we're going to make use of these three class. Just gonna make use of these three class for now and classify. So you could see that there are quite a number of uh, built up around here. So I think this uh, band combination exposes more of built ups that we didn't know exist. Okay, so let's just go ahead and make classification of this. So we will ex we'll create a signature file. So we'll just leave the signature file as clipped and we OK. So the signature file will save. So now to do a classification, we'll click on OK. Fail to create Y. So let's name it as DIG. -G. I don't know what that even means to as well. It fails to create. 
Okay. So let's bring this back. Okay, let's see whether like this it is going to do. So we have maximum likelihood classification and we have interactive supervised classification. So both of them are actually supervised classification. But it's most of the papers and all that talks more about the more maximum likelihood classification. So here is going to ask us to impute the this. So we'll do that. And it's asking for a signature file that refused to create. That signature file that refused to create is what they're asking us now. So we have to create that signature file. I don't really know why it's not creating. We're supposed to create, fail to create signature file. Let's see if this is all. So that I don't really know whether I'll replace another thing. All right, so let's click save again. I didn't save all. Yes. So let's try creating the signature file again. Or should we put it inside the geo database? Let's see. Oh, fail again. So I wanted to use uh, the maximum lag likelihood classification, but since the signature is not saving, let me just, uh, okay. I'm going to select I'm going to select all of them and try again now. So let's save it like this and see. If we didn't save now, I'm just going to use uh, the interactive. So since it fails, because for the maximum likelihood classification, you have to have that. So since it's not going to we will just use the interactive supervised classification so that we could see. So it once it's done, we're going to see the, the output of it and then we'll compare the results of the two. So here's the result. So if we zoom well, we know that this place is entirely built up. So we we will see that, yeah, we see that actually it, the built up really represent very well, and then uh, the vegetation also try. But then the water body is where I am having a serious issue. Maybe it's because of much pixels we've not trained and then or oh, there are also other underlying water issues that we didn't know but then let's check whether we have this uh, okay, the water body here actually came out but then the water body is showing too much so this can be resolved by you going back here removing the water body and reclassifying it i think that's what will solve this problem so you reclassify it and then add more pixels as pixels count to each of this class. And then another thing is that we only have three class here. We're only interested in the water body, the built up and then the vegetation. So by adding more of this future class, these classes will aggregate to get giving you a more 
accurate and better result so we we'll end the video here so this is just how you can do supervised classification on ArcGIS desktop so in the coming days we'll be doing another video on this or we'll be using either QGIS or, uh, or NV or Idrisi or ArcGIS Pro so you keep stay tuned and then don't go anywhere Spatie Elijah Special is home